Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Um, I am doing some fun, cute little back to school rocks um, that you can make in lots of different combinations. As you can see up here, we've got pencils and glue, backpacks, crayons, um, and you can just really have fun with these and play around. I'm going to do a backpack and pencil today on this stone, and they're just really fun and adorable. Um, you can hide them around town. A little kid gets one of these before they head into school. It might just be something fun to get them excited about the school year. So the first thing we're going to do is actually put down one layer for our piece of paper uh, just because it might need a couple. So we'll just get one layer here out of the way. I'm just going to work with my white acrylic paint. Now these, I did this backpack and crayon with acrylic paint. These ones are with paint pens. Just use what you have. Obviously, lining is a lot easier for most people with a black paint pen, so I suggest having one of those, but you can definitely fill in these kind of shapes just with your standard acrylics or with your paint pens. Um, as far as the sign, as you can see, you can do it long and skinny, up and down. We're gonna do more of a, a vertical U rock on this one, so I'm just gonna place down a square type shape here on my stone. Not gonna be overly crazy with making it perfect. I'm going to line it anyways. And I'm gonna do a couple layers here so that it's nice and thick, but sometimes you just need a couple layers of white. So I'm gonna get this down and we'll start adding our middle school supply characters why this first layer dries a bit. So just a little bit more here. And just a nice thin layer. I'm gonna do two layers, so I'm not gonna worry too much about making it thick. That way it dries a little bit faster for us. So when, if you have, Kids, grandkids, when are they going back to school? Mine are returning on the 18th, or not 18th, I'm sorry, the 19th. No, 18th, I'm looking up and it's a July calendar. I believe the 18th, I should probably double check that, <laughs> of August. Um, I'm just gonna line everything with my black extra fine tip just so that I can see my shapes and then we'll kind of fill it in almost like a coloring book style and then go back and add some of these fun details. I'm gonna do, um, a pink backpack because my daughter got a brand new pink backpack this year. So I'm gonna let her keep this one. We'll hide the rest of these around town. So for your backpack, you just wanna do a tall rectangle with rounded edges first. And I've got kind of a weird little lump here on my rock. So if you have lumps, spot them out ahead of time. And we'll just put some little legs under him. You want to leave enough space for an arm. I forgot to do that here and I had to find a weird way to have him holding on to the sign. So if you give yourself a little space here in between the sign and your backpack, you can come back and add a little arm for him to be holding your sign, which is pretty cute. So just kind of a rectangular shape here. Don't use sharp corners. I'm going to add a strap on the top like that. And then we're going to add one of those kind of side straps just so that you can see it here to the side. Let's see here. I feel like you can't really see where I'm lining it. Okay. There we go. Okay. And like I said, we're going to color this in like a coloring book. So if you need to make adjustments, just make sure the outside lines of your shapes are what you like. Now for the shoes, I literally just go down, up and around make these cute little almost like little sneakers on the bottom of our backpack now we're not going to do any more lining on that until after it has been filled in uh, next we're going to do i want to do a pencil again i like these little pencils i think they look so cute with a little bit of silver on there so i mean pencil shapes pretty straightforward we're going to make them nice and tall so we'll start up here with his little eraser and then you need to add the area where you're going to have that metal piece and then you can make them as long or short as you want we all know we have pencils of all different sizes right and a little 
further down he's gonna be nice pointy. I'm gonna go really pointy because I don't want him too much lower than the feet on this one. We're gonna add a spot for our lead. And then you always have your arches going, at least one arch kind of, that's the way they, they sharpen. Okay, just like that. Now we're just gonna color in, just like a coloring book. And like I said, I'm using my paint pens for speed of dry time. I just put my hand through my white paint um, for speed of dry time, but you can definitely, definitely fill these in with acrylics. This one up here was done with all acrylics. So uh, just get a nice little brush where you can get in there. I'm gonna move this out of my way a little bit so I don't put my hand in that white paint again. Let's make sure I'm in frame it. So we're just gonna fill in our pencil. Nice bright orange. Got my big one here. I'm gonna have to get right down in there. And again, you're gonna reline. So just get all the way into those points, even if you got a, a big tip. When you come back in with the black, you can sharpen all of that up. Got a light pink here to do our eraser. And I'm gonna actually bounce over here and fill in our backpack since it's a larger space. It might need a second coat. And I'm gonna do one layer of regular pink and then one layer of glitter pink because my daughter's new backpack this year is a super shimmery pink. So again, get all the way out to those edges and cover your mistakes. And then don't forget to get your little straps as well. I think I'm going to do the straps in this light pink, especially because I've got a bigger paint pen here. So I'm going to come in and do this top strap and a light pink. It's like her dream backpack. I know some of you guys have had the pleasure of her being in here. I think I might get her in for one more tutorial before the school year starts. Maybe next week we'll plan something for her to hop on and paint with me. One of these little shoes. Okay, now we'll come back and finish up this pencil. It's got a kind of creamy color here. Not quite white. And then we'll do our silver for the lid. And then we'll get back to uh, that second layer of white for our sign. As you can see, it's just not quite as dark as you might want it to be. It's a little transparent with one coat. So again, back here to our white. You can kind of drift in here to the side. This we'll be able to add our fun glitter color on top of this pink backpack. We'll do a second coat there on that pencil as well. This sets nice and bright. Just remember, if you're laying a second color, you want to make sure you're laying it on top. Not a lot of pressure. 
We don't pull up any of that paint below. Okay. I think I could just get away with going with the glitter. The glitter has, I was doing it off the side, the glitter does have some pigment to it as well. Uh, so I think it will work as a second coat on here. Add that shimmer right on top here. And this shimmery back part. Make sure you get that flowing really good. Lay it on top. And then once more, pulse on a piece of paper. Make sure you've got plenty of paint coming out. Okay, can you see that shimmer that it gives it there? Kind of hard to tell while it's wet. Okay, let's go ahead and add some to that. And the Okay. I think everything else should be gonna get a little lower here on my eraser for the most part these, these, these ones look okay won't necessarily need a second coat so now I set it down I can see a couple spots where I missed my shimmer it starts to dry you can really tell where you have it and where you don't She doesn't know I'm making her this one, so she'll be pretty excited about it. All right, so once you've got all of your uh, first layers down here, you can start adding and touching up your lining. Um, and this is where you can kind of create some definition on your backpack, and we're obviously gonna add cute little faces. Uh, you can go along and touch up anywhere on your lining where you maybe went over the edge just a little bit, and we can add a few other details. So I'm gonna start with areas where I know my paint is a little more dry where I didn't do the second layer and we'll uh, work on from there. See if that looks dry, it looks pretty dry on this side. And give us just the slightest arch And add just a couple little lines to give it that curve. We'll wait to do our eyes here till we know our orange is a little more dry. There we go. See that backpack is looking pretty dry. We'll do um, the outer edges of our sign here first. I'm actually going just slightly off, not on top of the white anyway. And when you're working right on your rock like I am, I tend to hold my pen at a slight angle. Uh, unless you're trying to do a really tiny line. It just makes it a little easier to not splatter or anything like that. And go ahead and give them some hands. Right in the side. And then another arm go out the other way. This one I'll add in a minute because I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. All right, you see that shimmer now that it's dry on that backpack? It's really fun. Okay. I know there's a lot of different styles of backpacks and things. I want this one seeming like it's slightly tilted to the side just so that you can see that side strap. So we're just gonna start all the way on the right-hand side and create kind of that top of the bag where that zipper would be, and it kind of gives the bag a little bit more shape. Just kind of come down one side, and then you can do that front pouch. Oh, the backpack's going to have that front pouch. And then and you can have it go all the way around if you want to add it as a second color. I'll just keep it like that, nice and simple. And you can add a zipper too if you want. Uh, the thingies are jumping off spot 
nice big round eyes here. I like to do my wider set if possible. It just kind of depends on the shape, how far apart you'll be able to get them. Ooh, that one kind of got away from me. He's a little square. This one a little bit bigger than that. It looks like he's frowning right now because of his pouch. We need to fix that for sure. A little smile in between. There you go. Now he's automatically happy. How fast that changes the way it looks, huh? All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do our eyes on our pencil. Again, I want them wide set. Um, he's a little skinnier, so we're going to just go with a little bit smaller of an eye. We can still keep them. That is still a little bit wet. Try and give it a little second coat there. And we're looking pretty dry here for our banner. So I'm not doing any fancy font. I'm thinking the way a kid would kind of like. let this black dry so that we can add our little highlights um, if you don't have a white paint pen and you're working mainly with acrylics uh, grab yourself a little toothpick um, or a uh, push pin something that just has a nice sharp point for you to do these little highlights on the eyes because they're really cute and they really kind of change the look of it quite a bit I and mean, if you just look between these two backpacks that little highlight just really cheers it up. Otherwise, it almost looks a little Halloween. -ish. We are almost finished. You can also add little pink cheeks as well. I'm not gonna be able to really get away with that on my backpack. I don't think you'd be able to see them. We can add these two little pink cheeks here on our pencil. And these blacks still look a little bit wet. And they're still a little bit funny shape to me. That looks better. And Kind of in a similar spot on the eye because the glare would be coming from the same side. This is still going to take a second, but we're just about done here. But these are so cute and they're just so simple to do. These ones are off the screen here. So here, why this finishes up in case you're joining in a little bit late and didn't see all these. So you can do glue, you know, crayons. We got this guy here with the crayons. Up here, I got another backpack, so you can make the backpack themed however your kiddo likes, or if you're gonna hide them around, you can do a variety of different colors of backpacks and themes. You can put patterns on your backpacks. You can take these in so many different directions. There's really a unlimited amount of things you can do. And his eyes are just, they're holding on to that moisture and they still look wet and I don't want gray highlights that's definitely not the other way than those to highlights go. that's it so you can stick around and see the polishing final touch here in a second otherwise we've got loads more tutorials on the page you can kind of scroll through I appreciate everybody that was watching today thank you for commenting and the hearts and the likes and the shares all those things kind of help our videos reach more people and hopefully in turn gets more kindness rocks out into the world there and we're done
So thanks again, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.